So, oh, in this uh, in this little ten minute section, we're going to be talking about certificates of authenticity (COAs), what to look for, what is a good one, what is a not a good one, um, and things like that, and um, photo proof things like that. So, we'll talk about those. I'm going to be doing weekly little ten minute talks. My wife did say this morning, don't go on for too long because I might bore people. So I won't go on for too too long. I will crack on straight with it. And what and uh, certificates of authenticity, COAs. Um, in today's world, people always want a certificate. Uh, when I started out in this business, it wasn't that important. Um, it was more um, people trusted you more. But today, with today's world of eBay and social media, there's a lot of fakers out there. Um, so people do like a certificate, um, as I'm sure a lot of you know. I do see on social media people saying, has it got a certificate? Has it got a certificate? They go on and on and on about them. Must have a certificate, otherwise it's not real. Who's a certificate? Um, so... What is a good certificate? What is a bad certificate? A good certificate should always have a number of things on it. Number one, it should have the company. It should have an email address. It should have a website. It should have a contact, an address, a physical address if you have one. It should, always, it should also say who the, or what the item is, not just a generic description like Anthony Joshua or Pele or Floyd Mayweather, because that doesn't mean anything. What is it, a Joshua glove, a Pele glo uh, boot? What is it? it? If it doesn't say what it is, then that, that's a little bit vague as well. The, um, a lot of certificates offer a lifetime guarantee, and yet if you go on their, their uh, certificate, if you have a look, it hasn't got any of those things, an email address, phone number, website, name, hasn't got that. And then if you Google the company, like I've done a few times, people have asked me if I've heard of this company. I haven't. I've Googled them and the company doesn't exist or the website doesn't exist. So again, that's going to be alarming, isn't it? If you've bought something with a certificate, the lifetime guarantee, and there's no, but there's no address on it or contact, you can't, it's not a lifetime guarantee. Certificates are only worth uh, they're only as good as the person who's issued it. And if a faker has issued a certificate, it's not worth the paper, is it? Um, if a faker has given you a certificate, does that make it real? Because people say to me, it must be real. It's got paperwork. It's got a certificate. Don't mean anything. A good certificate, this is one of mine. This has a number of things on it. It's got, for num number one, it's got the photo of the item. It's got on there, it's got the inspection date, what it is, who it is. On the other side, it's got if it's been passed authentic or not, uh, and who inspected it. Down here, it's got the legal bits. Um, just there. In the middle, at the bottom, it has all the comeback details that you need. The company name, the company address, the website, and the email address. Here, you can't really see it very well on here, but on here, it's got my embossed stamp. The embossed stamp is there so that my certificate cannot be faked or forged by anybody because I'm the only one that has my stamp. So that is stamped there. What I haven't put in there, but I will do when I issue this certificate, is there will be a sticker in there, sticker with the serial number. That serial number is then logged on my website, and you go to my website and that will come up. Also, there's a duplicate serial number with the same number, and that goes on the item. So, that, so it can be traced. That is a certificate that I issue when someone asks me um, for my service. So I will issue that sort of certificate. That costs 
on average a tenner, depends on who it is. If it's Muhammad Ali, it's a little bit more, or an older, old box, it's a little bit more. But normally a tenner will give you the peace of mind where it's all logged on the website and everything else. And you, yeah, that's good. I also offer this sort of certificate, which is more generic. Again, it comes with all my contact details on there. An embossed stamp, which you can't, you can't really see it on there, but that's an embossed stamp. And what it is, okay, that's the one that I issue with every item that I sell in, in the shop. That one is what you pay for. That one you get free with every, every single item that I sell, I issue a certificate of authenticity. As I said, a lot of companies um, don't give that sort of detail. So how can you get back to them if there is no comeback to it at all? I would I, I prefer photo proof myself a lot of people would prefer certificates than photo proof but photo proof I think is a fantastic way of proving that, that the item is real so long as that individual is holding is holding the, the 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 actual item that is on the certificate if you follow that um, I will show you proof of what I mean um, because Photo proof, if they're holding the exact item, what more proof do you need? It's brilliant proof. You know, not just holding a generic glove, because that could be any glove. You know. Um, but I'll show you, I will show you what I mean. Um, in fact, I'll show you now. Now these are Anthony Joshua trunks. And this here is the actual photo of AJ with these actual trunks. If I put that on there. Now, surely that is as good a proof as you can possibly get. That, that's the actual trunks that he's got in his hand there. Now, I, I try and issue the, a, a, a fo photo proof with as much as I possibly can. There is no company in the world that will that, that has got photo proof of everything. That's just impossible because circumstances can't always di uh, dictate that. Um, but I try and get exact photo proof if possible. I've got another one up here. AJ signing these. Oh, let me step back a little bit. AJ sign in this canvas, yeah? Exact photo proof. I would never issue a certificate of authenticity without seeing an item. If someone asks me to authenticate one of their items, say it's a photo, um, and they say it's real, I will never authenticate without C. I insist on it being sent to the shop or for them to come into the shop with it. Why do I do that? Because this business is built on trust. And I could have had this business for years, which I have, and it only takes one item to slip through the net and my business is gone. So how now there are companies who will issue certificates without actually seeing it physically i think that's a bit dangerous that's up to them to do that but i think it's a bit dangerous why do i think it's dangerous because if it's a signed photo 10 by 8 photo let's use pele for example signed by pele um and i they send me a photo on the laptop or my phone the, folk, the autograph looks good, but how do I know that it's not printed? Uh, if it's printed, it's not authentic. It's not original. Now, it's impossible to tell a signed photo from a printed photo by an image on your laptop or phone. So, it, you ha so I have to look at it first. It has to be sent in to me to have a look at and then I will have a look at it I've got a magnifying glass I get the photo put it put the magnifying glass over the print 
You can see if the print is raised off the photo and so on. You can't do that by looking at a laptop. This is why I have to insist on it coming in to the shop. People say, say, ah, oh, but I know it's real. Got signed by a reliable, it, it got some a reliable source. Got, got it that doesn't mean anything to me. I'm not gonna say, oh, okay then, all right. It must be good then. Don't mean anything. So, um, just so that you know, I, I will insist on the item being sent in to me to be authenticated, okay? Um, again, if, a, if another company wants to just authenticate it by looking at it from their laptop or computer, phone, up to them, but not me, okay? I think I've covered most things in this little 10, 15 minute section. Hope I haven't bored you too much. I will do another one next week along the same lines but on signatures because some some people have two or three different um, signatures uh, but I'll talk more about that next week and the week after that I'll be doing about Ringside Charitable Trust a charity that's very close to my heart so thank you I hope I haven't bored you too much thank you very much God bless you stay safe stay healthy and I will speak to you soon